The early 20th century was marked by a desire for change and a willingness to challenge long-established social paradigms. Perhaps no country was more ready for this change than China. China had been under imperial rule for over 4,000 years. The height of the empire had passed long before, and now China lagged behind in economic and social development. The masses were generally uneducated, and the condition of women was extremely poor. Many Chinese students who were going to study abroad encountered new ideas, and some learned of an emerging world religion, the Baha'i Faith. The Baha'i Faith believes the crucial need facing humanity is to find a unifying vision for the future of society. Such a vision unfolds in the writings of Baha'u'llah. The first Chinese person to accept the faith was Chen Haiyan, who became a Baha'i in 1919 while studying law at Columbia University. Three outstanding early Chinese believers were Cao Yunxiang, Hilda Yan, and Liao Chongzhen. Books have been written about Cao Yunxiang, president of Xinhua University, who did much translation work, and about Hilda Yan, the niece of Yan Huiqing, premier of China in the 1920s and the first Chinese ambassador to the Soviet Union. Hilda helped establish the Baha'i International Community as an NGO at the United Nations. The third person, Liao Chongzhen, was an admired governmental official who had the privilege of being a correspondent with Shoghi Effendi, the head of the Baha'i faith at that time. Liao Chongzhen dedicated his energies to the translation of the Baha'i writings into Chinese. Although he led a remarkable life, few details have survived, and until recently, only one verified picture was available. There's a picture of an Asian family that Shoghi Effendi lovingly hung in one of the rooms of the Baji mansion in Israel. Could it be that this is of Liao Chongzhen and his family? And all information about the fate of Liao Chongzhen has been a mystery. In October 2014, there was a breakthrough. This picture was posted online. The caption said, Wedding of Liao Chongzhen and Sun Lishu, Canton, 1931. Could it be the same Liao Chongzhen? Many things matched. The groom in the picture resembled the picture we had of Liao Chongzhen. Furthermore, the bride and groom resembled the couple in the picture at Ba Zhi. The person who posted the picture online was contacted, and he replied, Liao Chongzhen was my great uncle. I'm his eldest sister's grandson. If you like, I can get you in touch with his daughter. Thanks to these new findings, we've been able to piece together much more about Liao Chongzhen's life, and we're glad to present them in this film. Liao Chongzhen was born in Canton, present-day Guangzhou. He was the fourth in a family of ten children and the eldest son. Liao Chongzhen's family history is fascinating. 